and welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video. I've been wanting to make the move over to YouTube for ages because I've got a beauty and lifestyle blog but I just didn't really have the equipment. But for Christmas I got a Canon EOS 650D which I was so excited and grateful for so hopefully the pictures and my vlogs will be a bit better and once I've got used to the settings and things I can create some more um, videos as well. Um, I have autofocus on at the moment so I think it might make a bit of noise so sorry about that but um, I'm just kind of testing out which settings are best. I think I still need a bit of practice. Um, so today's video is going to be a collective haul. I've done a little bit of shopping recently because I've been on a kind of unintentional spending man for about like five months or something just because of Christmas and people's birthdays. I haven't really had the money to spend on myself um, but I got paid the other day and I just thought I'd treat myself to a few things that I've had my eye on for a while um, and most of them, well some of them are sales purchases so I don't feel as bad. Um, but yeah, so I'll begin with the things that I bought in Boots, um, which is basically all makeup. Some of the things that I needed to replace, some of the things I just had on my list for a while. Um, so I'll get started. So the majority is actually from Revlon, which is my favourite drugstore brand. I think they have really good quality products. There's such an array of them as well, and I'm just always drawn to their stand. So the first thing I picked up is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, which had massive blogger hype um, quite a few months ago now. And I'm only picking it up um, now just because I haven't bought a new base in ages and I just wanted to try something new so I got the shade 120 vanilla which looks like this and I'm really looking forward um, to trying it out because I really like the Revlon colour stay uh, but this should just be a little bit lighter um, yeah so I'm looking forward to trying this to go with that I got a new concealer I normally use the collection lasting perfection concealer but um, I know everyone loves it but I just find the shades aren't that great, it's a really limited range and I find that it can be quite ashy on me um, even though I really like the formula and the lasting power of it so I thought along the same lines of the formula um, I picked up the Revlon Colourstay Concealer um, which I haven't tried before but considering the foundation lasts for ages I thought this would be kind of the same thing and I've got number one fair um, and I really like it, I've used it a couple of times already and it's really good for under the eyes and on the face it's quite a good colour match um, and it doesn't crease under my eyes which I have massive problems with so that's amazing and it really does last a while too so I'm impressed with this so far the last things I got from Revlon are two lip glosses which I definitely didn't need um, the concealer I did and the foundation I kind of did but the lip glosses I definitely didn't but I really love lip products and um, I already have one from this range which is I think called Strawberry which is a really lovely red so I picked up a kind of nudie peachy shade called Bellini um, which I've had my eye on for a while so please I finally picked that up and I also got this um, kind of dark purple colour with glitter particles in. This one doesn't seem to have a name on the bottom so I can't tell you what it's called but it's kind of obvious if you saw it on the stand um, and I think this will look really nice over the top of some of my darker lipsticks. I got another lip product as well um, while I was in Boots and it was from the new Moisture Renew range from Rimmel and I really like the packaging of these lipsticks and I've been wanting to try quite a few actually um, from the range for a while um, but I saw this particular colour on Liparazzi's blog which I'll link below and she's got a really good blog and she's lovely as well um, and it's just gorgeous it's called In Love With Ginger and it's kind of like an orangey toned red and Red's one of my favourites and so the orange, as you can tell, because I'm wearing orange lipstick today. Um, and so I'm just really looking forward to trying this. And it was, I think, £4 um, at Boots because there was a discount on, I think. So that might still be going on if you want to pick up a few from the range. Lastly from Boots, I got something else which needs to be replaced, which was an eyeliner. And um, I've originally been using the Soap and Glory, um, I think it's something to do with cats. 
cat liner, something, I can't remember the name, but um, I, it was a felt tip liner and I really liked the concept of it, but I just wasn't really impressed by it. And when that ran out, I was using a gel liner, but I don't really like them that much. So I picked up this one from Bourgeois. And I'm not going to say the name of it just because I can't speak French, but it's basically, it's in the shade Ultra Black and it's a felt tip liner, which I've already used it once or twice. And it's really easy to use um, and I love that the colour is a really deep black on one application, you don't have to keep on going over it. So I find some of them can come out quite grey and that's really annoying. So this is really, really good so far. That's it from Boots, um, but the last makeup item I got was from Liberties. I was originally going to get this item from Space NK but I went past Liberties first. And there's something about those purple bags that just feels very luxurious so I got colour match um, by the lady at the um, counter and it was for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer um, again there's been a lot of talk about this and I know I got the colour stay one but I just I really wanted to try a high-end concealer because I never have before and I just think the shade range is better and I'm hoping the quality will be better as well, especially as this was £21. Um, I was colour matched with the shade Honey because it has peachy tones in which should help for my under eye circles which are quite bad. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this um, and I just wanted to get, I want to start getting some more high-end things. I've got a few high-end foundations and lipsticks but I just kind of want to expand in that arena. Okay the next couple of items I got are clothes, most which were in the sales and normally I don't like sale shopping at all because I find there's too much choice which I know sounds ridiculous but like there's just too much going on and I can't bother to search through the racks. They never really have my size ever and the stuff that is my size I just don't really like. I was looking for specific things anyway and these just kind of happened to catch my eye. Um, the first thing is from New Look and it's a pair of shoes. I was originally looking for some black um, platforms which were closed toe because I have black shoes and black platforms but they all have peep toes and I did find a pair but they were size 6 and I'm size 5 so that was quite annoying but I did find these. Which are amazing, and they have a gold back, which is kind of reminiscent of the Zara shoes, and they're suede, and I just think they're gorgeous. And I don't have any red shoes, um, and I just thought they're really nice. I don't think I would have bought them if they weren't in the sale, but they're down from twenty four ninety nine to eleven pounds, so I don't think that's a bad deal, and I think they're really lovely. So I bought these. Um, the next sale item I got was from Zara and I just went in just to have a little look, not really at the sale items, I just like going to Zara because they have some really nice things and um, I came across this cardigan and I've been meaning to replace quite a few of my basics, I don't really have any cardigans anymore because they got a bit old and tatty and this one was just lovely. So it has this kind of silver and diamante trim around the collar and it has um, like pearlescent buttons as well, if I can show you here, and it's a short a short cardigan and I just think it's really really lovely and it's very soft as well and it was originally £45.99 and I definitely wouldn't have bought it at that price, I would never buy a cardigan at that price, I think that's really expensive, but it was down from down to £22.99 but I got it for I think £16 or £17 which is really good for Zara and I think it's really pretty so I'm really pleased I got that and I got it in a size small. Then I also got a new look which I forgot to mention is this belt and it wasn't in sale but it's very cheap so I got this black basic one with a nice gold buckle and it was only £2.99 so I thought that was really really good and I might pick up another one actually for that price. Then in Topshop um, I got, well for Christmas I got a pair of brown Chelsea boots um, because I got black ones the Christmas before and I've worn them to death and love them so I really wanted a brown pair but the pair I got weren't exactly right so I exchanged them for the pair I wanted which is basically the style of my black ones but in brown so they look like this 
and I just think they'll be really really nice to style with various outfits and I can just give my black ones a bit of a break. And lastly for the clothes, it's not really like, well, it obviously is clothes but it's not fashion, it's more sport and I got these from TK Maxx, I these running kind of leggings, the three quarter lengths from L Sport and they have the pink down the sides. And I just think having the right kit will really um, help like me stay active because I always feel like I want to do it more when I have the right gear. And then finally I went to Muji and this was really exciting. I've popped in a couple of times before and got like candles and things but I never actually got what I really wanted which was the acrylic storage and I thought I'd bite the bullet and just get some. So first of all I got five drawer and I'm not you might already know but um, I'm not sure if you do but me and my boyfriend have recently moved in together and there's just really not a lot of room in his flat we moved into his flat um, so I needed some storage for my makeup and it was kind of like a really good time to get some so I'm looking forward to filling these up with various bits and bobs just trying to organise it and create some more space as well. And I also got single drawer, which I kind of opened, so like that. Um, and so I didn't need, so I think six has been up, and that's a bit deeper than the other ones. Um, I also want to get the single drawer, which is um, like an open top, like a kind of jewellery thing, I think it's called. So I think I might pick that up at a later date. Well, that's it for my haul and the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, obviously I'm a bit nervous because it's strange speaking to a camera and it is my first video so sorry if I've been a little bit stiff but hopefully my next few videos I'll get used to it and I can loosen up a little bit more. Um, let me know if you've tried any of the things that I've shown you um, and let me know your thoughts on them. Uh, there are a few other things that I'd like to pick up, um, so I might do another haul depending on how much I have. Um, so thanks for watching, bye!